Two well-known individuals, um, including a popular actor with no apparent political leanings, Sonu Sood, and the other a former IS officer and a well-known activist and a critic of the Modi government, Harsh Mandar, have been subjected to raids by central agencies, once again leading to questions about how these agencies are being used to target opponents of the ruling dispensation at the centre. Raids by central agencies on two personalities, actor Sonu Sood and ex-IS officer Harsh Mandar, well known for helping migrants and others who suffered the brunt of the lockdown. Seven hours on Wednesday and back early this morning. Income tax officials investigating actor Sonu Sood have spent two days at his residence. With very little known about the nature of the investigation, many are saying that Sonu Sood's decision to become the brand ambassador for the Deshka Mentors program of the Aam Admi Party-led government in Delhi is the reason he's facing the heat from the income tax department, with officials landing up at his home for the second consecutive day. IT sources claim there was a land deal between Sood's company and a Lucknow-based real estate company and that they suspect that there was suppressing of registration value and tax evasion. The Shiv Sena said the action was the result of a Talibani mindset. Lokpriya Kalakar Sunu Sood, inke vivid properties per income tax department ke raid pad rahe hain aur kaha jata hai ki jab se Sunu Sood aap government ke brand ambassador bane hain isi wajah se unko ye sab jhelna pad raha hai इसे तालिबानी मानसिकता ही कहना चाहिए जहां पर इनकी खुद की सरकारें हैं वहां पर कोई कार्रवाई की जाती है तो वह कार्रवाई पारदर्शी पर इनकम टैक्स से लेकर के सीबीआई ईडी कोई कार्रवाई करे तो वो कार्रवाई शक के कटघरे में कैसे हो सकती है यह कांग्रेस के साथ विपक्ष की ओछी मानसिकता का परिचायक है in New Delhi early this morning, an enforcement director team raided activist Harsh Mandar's home and office, and even a children's shelter home. Mandar is travelling abroad. The enforcement director taking cognizance of Delhi police affair dated February this year on allegations of financial irregularities at Harsh Mandar's NGO, Centre for Equity Studies, has initiated a money laundering probe. Sources in ED say, as the Delhi police FIR showed scheduled offences like criminal breach of trust, criminal conspiracy and cheating, the agency has registered a PMLA case and carried out searches at his residential premises and also at his official premises. While Harsh Mandar has been a critic of the government, Sonu Sood has so far steered clear of politics, apart from becoming a brand ambassador for an AAP government program in Delhi. Neither has responded, but Sood, who had put up this post of Arif Ansari, whom he had helped, came today to express his solidarity. The raids at Harsh Mandar's home in New Delhi and Sonu Sood's home in Mumbai have once again raised questions about whether central agencies like the Enforcement Directorate and the Income Tax Department are being misused to target critics and opponents of the current dispensation in New Delhi. In Mumbai with camera person Praveen G. Rohit, Saurabh Gupta, NDTV.